no one round us, lovely spot. Yeah, hoping to get to Banbury today. This way. Zoomy time. Don't fall in. Nicely. He ain't stupid. He always under the table. I think it's two onto one. Zoom is go, go Dave, go, go, Dave. go. Is that it? Go on to one. Finished. Go. Under the table. Molly, stop barking. Molly can go under the table as well, Dave. Dave doesn't realise Molly can go under the table as well. Go! Go! Molly, Dave, is it? Yeah, I don't realise Dave's scrappy old dog. Tough dog, aren't you, Dave? Get him! <laughs> Go! Wait for the splash. Oh, Dave, Charlie was on top of Dave there. No, he still ain't giving up. Under the table. No, we're going up there. And back there. Now we're under the table. <laughs> oh, that was nasty, Charlie. Charlie's backed up. Come on. Is that enough now? No. No, we're going for another one. Whoa, big crash. Oh, I've run out of back. Here we are in Banbury. Hello. So we've stopped off at Banbury. Sally's gone shopping. I've got the dogs. One, two, three, which I'll be over actually. Apart from Molly who's crying. We found this little place here. If you're ever in Banbury. Cheap prices. Friendly people. Who recommend it? Pizza Express next door, Nando's and all that over there. That's it, shade for the dogs. If you're lucky, you can get more in just there. But we are just round the corner a little bit. We couldn't get in. Sod's law, as soon as we mauled up and walked back, there was a space, but hey ho. Yeah, so if you're in Banbury, 
pop into this place. So we're moored up for the night and I've just come down to this lane on the My Rider bike to meet the bloke with the Indian food, hopefully. Right, it's Wednesday morning. Just done some housework. We moored here last night. I've um, just swept the back off, washed the mats. Need to get some petrol and find somewhere. I've done the same at the front, took everything out, swept it, washed the mats off, put the door, the gates up. Anyone who wants a dog gate, they're pretty good. The Constantine are up out of the way, we can take them straight out of the way. So that's that job done. Yesterday I had a curry when I got it on the bike. It's, um, it was dark by the time I come back, but yeah, it's all good. I just got to put it back in its bag. Yep, put it back, and that lives under there, under there in its bag. Ah, still very impressed with it. But yeah, what a nice spot. I think it's going to be a warm one again. Although it's cloudy, it's warm already. Dave started barking, I don't know what time, four o'clock, because the sheep were baying. Apart from that, it's so warm. Anyway, let's see what Wednesday brings. All right, that's the bike in its bag. It looks a bit more bulky, but it's not. It's just the way the bag's puffed out and I'll show you when it's in its place. So, the bike has been put away. That's it in there. So starting in the delivery. Yep, get ready to go now. So, we've set off, to, it's Wednesday today. Say hello to everybody. 20 just coming out of loads of mizzes. I think it's because they're cutting the corn. Lock 20 of the Claydon Lock Line, so they're not 30 feet. 60, 60. Yeah. Where are the trees there? Right, we're going around the corner to the next lock where there is lockies. So, yeah. This is Wednesday morning and the blue sky is coming again. So it's Wednesday evening, a uh, bit of an eventful day, day of the dog, over there, decided to jump off and then swam across the canal and in the bushes. Luckily for us, he then jumped back in the canal and followed the boat, so we got him back. Otherwise, Sally was getting ready to jump in. Anyway, we're just past the HS2, I don't know if you can hear in the background. We have a barbecue going, and that is the view. Can't zoom in anymore for some reason. But over there, on the horizon, I think, but don't quote me, that's Napton on the hill. But we will see. But yeah, an eventful. Wednesday. Oh, and um, when I was getting the barbecue out of the box, I dropped half of it in in the canal, so we had a magnet fish rest out. But hey ho! So we got 
Dave back. Molly's there. Dave, uh, Charlie, I think, is inside the boat. So yeah, we're having a bit of a barbecue. And then a lie in tomorrow, I think. But yeah. Apart from the um, diggers going on in the background at HS2. It's a nice spot. I can't see them going. So it's Thursday afternoon now. I have a few this morning because I've got sunstroke on it. this morning so I'll just try to keep it open a minute so yeah it's Thursday and it's hot to put it politely very hot I don't know what the camera like what your views like because I can't see the screen it's that sunny hopefully you can see it much longer but you never know Now we know who digs up the garden. Hey! Dave, what are you doing? Finished? Dave. You finished? No. Going again. He says your office is empty. Dave? What are you doing? Saturday morning, just doing the first lock of the day, towards them, on the way back, we started just popped into the shop. We're just going to moor up here quickly and have a look through. So now we've just set off, it's Sunday morning, and we're going down to Bugbrook to meet Glenn and Lisa. On the light for the moon. Already had near their head on, fire boat coming the other way, flat out. Luckily we just kissed each other, the boats that is. And I just said to her, you're going miles too fast, and she just sort of smiled. I don't know, it's always one I suppose. So yeah, it's not raining, it's a bonus. So what to Brook Day bring? Sunday morning, we just picked the boat up, we left it at Bogbra, not Bogbra, sorry, Bugbrook. Heading back towards Ivano. Get halfway back. Newton Kings, Cosgrove, somewhere like that. Yeah, lovely day. It's going to be a hot one. Right, let's see how we get on. So it's Saturday morning. Just picked the boat up for Cosgrove. My mate Ian's driving. Morning, everybody. That's where we were just there, been there for a week. Lovely day, it's going to be a hot one. So yeah, catch up with you in a bit. So we made it to the three locks. Made the three locks in, it's been most of the driving, done all right. Bit of pleasure actually for not to drive. And um, yeah, we're gonna moor up, have a few beers. 
Tu zic, Larry Wolf Sunday morning, sitting at the top of the three locks, waiting for our boat certificate man to come and inspect the boat. Sally's just been to the pub, got some drinks. So yeah, hopefully in a couple of hours we'll be moving on. So we've just left the three locks, boat certificate part. Nice bloke. Anybody want their boat done, let me know and I'll um, give you details. Sound man, and yeah, all good. And the sun's gone in, thank god. Still warm, but the sun's gone in. Anyway, we're off to Lynn's Lake now. So I'm back at the mooring, I haven't been here for a few weeks. Actually, it's not as bad as overgrown as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've just got to get on and cut the grass now. And the film set has been taken down. We've got our view back. Right, I must crack on. I'll show you what it's like when I'm done. So, that's the grass cut in the morning. It's about two and a half hours it took me. I um, oiled the deck as well, but it's got grass over it. But yeah, it's back to normal. I can keep on top of it now whilst we come back. It's amazing how much it grows in so many weeks. Can't remember how many weeks we've been away actually. And the film site is all gone. Got our view back. So yeah, it's been hard work and hot, but it's time to go and get some beers and have a beer. I just wanted to get it done before the boat come back. The other option was moor it over there, cut it and then bring it across, but I've got the time so I've come and done it. Right, pack up, get some beers and go home for some dinner. It's been a long day. But yeah, looks alright, doesn't it? Looks so much different down here now the trees are gone. There used to be a big tree there. It was rotten. I can still see the stump just end of my finger. And there was a big tree over the back there. Again, rotten. So they had to come out. But yep. And if anybody wants a mooring, I think there's a mooring still available. It's over there somewhere. Let me know and I'll give you a number to ring. But yeah, right. Pack up and go on. So, it's Friday night mm -hmm. and it's curry night. Out of food. Fantastic. Yours, Bev? Delicious. Gary? Fantastic, Jeffrey. Brilliant. His onion barges look. Uh, <laughs> Argy bargy. Right, isn't it? <laughs> take it and we're moving the boat on Sunday. We are. Back, Back to home. our moor. Back to our moorings. How long has it been? Eight weeks. Eight weeks yeah. we've been away. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a bit of filming for Sunday when we're on it. That's video, mate. Oh, yeah. You're going to be on YouTube. Smile. You're going to be on YouTube. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. <laughs> look at the food, look. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any that. more beer? Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, two more. Oh, yeah. 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 You can talk, it's video, it's not a picture. <laughs> You'll see yourself on YouTube. Three. That's it, we're finished. <laughs> How was that, Gary? Vicious, Jeff. Red hot. Was it good? Vicious. Oh, red hot, red hot. Was it good, though? No, uh, beautiful, yeah. Bev, was yours good? Delicious, yeah, really, really lovely. Mine was sound. Been looking forward to it for a week. So, just told the man who owns the restaurant he's on our YouTube and now he's now looking at it. <laughs> Say hello to all your customers or future customers. <laughs> what do you want to say to them, to my what? viewers? Uh, if they're on their narrow boat, if you're way. in the narrow boat, please come visit us. We are local, you can walk here, Correct. after a few drinks, I'll drop you back There to the you boat. go, you can't get better than that. Can't say better than that. 
tight Sunday morning, the last leg getting the boat back to our moorings. It doesn't look very promising, but hey, yeah, we've got to get it back. So, here we go. So it's still going, uh, we're about just under halfway home now. It's a bit windier, but it's not raining. It's a nice atmosphere to breathe out. Been busy as well, believe it or not. Quite a few boats moving about. Hopefully, we will beat the rain. Everybody's interested. Frank Bruno's house is over there. That one's there. Anybody seen the TV program Hijack? This is where some of it was filmed. I think yeah, the bad boys get out of the car and walk back to his car over there somewhere. Stop them following them. The road goes nowhere anyway, but you don't know that on the program. So yeah, look, it's Hijack. It's on Apple TV or it was.